This is 7 News. From the studios of 7 Perth, Susanna Carr. Good evening. A massive clean-up is underway tonight after a tornado ripped through Morley and Dianella. Dozens of homes and businesses have been damaged. The path of destruction spreads for several blocks. One of the worst hit areas was Valentine Avenue in Dianella. Rick Arden is there. And Rick, what can you tell us? So this street bore the brunt of this remarkable tornado today. As you can probably see behind me here, almost every tree has been uprooted and roofs have been just ripped from houses, including the one behind me where a huge steel beam flew through the air from a nearby house and demolished the roof. Also, tiles have been hurled around like tissues and the street is just a mess. Alison Hembra begins our coverage. As the afternoon skies turned dark, winds of more than 100 kilometres per hour smashed into Morley and Dianella. This security vision is from inside the Eden Cafe in Morley. The force of the tornado blows the doors off their hinges, throwing a baby in a high chair across the room. This woman almost knocked off her feet by a shopping trolley. Neither was injured. At the other end of the cafe, the doors explode open. A customer tries to hang on, but can't. Power lines and trees flattened. It's just all of the black clouds moving slowly. Some homes ripped apart, their neighbours left untouched. I saw the next door neighbour's shed go into my pool. In Cood Street, Dianella, almost every single tree torn from the ground. Wow. One street across, three backyards wiped out. Several blocks away at the Morley shopping area, shock and disbelief. I saw everything going up and up and up in the air. It was frightening. The noise was terrible. Blockbuster video on Walter Road, all but destroyed. Everything just fell, like the roof fell. It was just so scary. And all of a sudden, all the walls started falling down on top of us. Workers fled seconds before the glass doors exploded. I can't believe nobody got hurt. But this mother hid under a tree to protect her three-year-old son. My son was screaming. We jumped under the tree and just, just held him for dear life. The winds were so strong that one man was injured when he was hit by a flying shopping trolley. I've got cut on my leg and broken arm. Alison Hembra, 7 News. As we go to air tonight, emergency services are still trying to confirm the extent of the damage, but here's what we know. The state emergency service has so far received 80 calls for help. 85 buildings have been damaged, mostly homes but also some businesses. FISA expects that number to grow to around 100 tonight as people get home from work. Seven homes are described as having major damage, including the one behind me, between Cood Street and Walter Road. Two gas leaks have been reported, one in a home and one at West Morley Primary School where students were sent home this afternoon. As we go to air tonight, 900 homes are still without power and there are safety concerns over asbestos from damaged buildings including some of the area around us right here where there's asbestos lying on the ground. Now one of the many homeowners who have been affected by today's tornado is Michael O'Connor. He joins me now. Michael, welcome. Thanks for your time. Now can you tell me what was it like? Yeah, it was pretty bad, Rick. Um, uh... Apparently, I met a neighbour who said uh, his garage from two doors down with two huge steel girders, as you might see over there, uh, came, ruined the back, back half of our house, basically. Um, another neighbour said it looked like a yeah, mini tornado with uh, lots of shrapnel and what have you flying through it. And when you got here? Uh, well, hugged my girlfriend, made sure the dogs were all right. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit astounded, you know. Well, you know, a few years ago we got our car demolished by the hailstorm, so it's like, here we go again. And so where to now for you and your uh, family with this behind us? Uh, probably uh, sleep at a friend's house for a while and just sort it out from there, really, Rick, yeah. And rebuilding? Yeah, rebuilding, yeah, do that. Be like home reno renovating again. When you look, I'm, I'm good, <laughs> used to, yeah. And well, good luck. And when yeah. you look at the yeah. mess there, really, yeah. it's just incredible, the force of nature. Yeah, I know, it's shocking. Yeah, it's bad. The whole street looks like... Uh, well, it looks like, yeah, stuff you don't expect, really. Michael, yeah. good luck for the future yeah. and thanks for your time. Thank you very much.
Thanks, Michael. Well, the Weather Bureau has described what's happened as a classic tornado. It was short but intense, cutting a destructive path for several hundred metres. Here's Tracy Moran. The tornado hit suddenly. The Weather Bureau says it was on the ground for five to ten minutes, but it was powerful. I looked out the window and could see debris flying up in the, in the air, bits of, I don't know, bits of houses. It zigzagged through suburban streets, damaging homes from Dianella Open Space all the way to the Galleria Shopping Centre in Morley. It's a classic signature of a very narrow path of destruction, very short-lived but incredibly powerful. To form, tornadoes need a pre-existing thunderstorm and what's known as wind shear, a sudden change in the direction and height of wind as it goes up through the atmosphere. So we can't warn for these things because they are so short-lived and if we tried to warn for them, we'd have to put it out every time we have a thunderstorm. Another tornado was reported near York after midday, caused by a different thunderstorm. Experts say it's possible to see nine a year in WA. Residents in this Dianella Street say it's an eerie feeling. One minute the tornado tears through their street, the next the sun is shining and they're facing a massive clean-up. A severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for the city tonight. Tracy Moran, 7 News. So as you can see, it's been such a dramatic day here for the many people affected by this afternoon's tornado. And it looks like the clean-up will take even longer. The SES has set up a hotline for people who need help. That number is 132 500. That's 132 500. For now, that's all from Dianella. Back to you. Thanks, Rick.